evening all. Welcome to a very special edition of Games Den. I'm on my way to Martin's house right now. It's just the two of us in the den tonight. And I bought something very special in the town. No, I would not usually condone spending money on a steaming pile of shit like this. But it was only 75 pence. Let's see what happens. Dave, how, how are, are you? you? Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Swap hands. Let's uh, let's do the den, will we? Yeah, so yeah. You, sa you said something before about um, having a surprise. What have you got? Oh, I will reveal all in the den. Well, in the gaming community, we can all agree on what was absolutely terrible. And it was only a few years ago. And this is a review with a difference. Tonight, we are doing a completely different review of... Alien Colonial Marine. So, why are we reviewing Alien Colonial Marine, you say? Four years after it came out, you say? Well, the entire gaming community can all agree this game was terrible. The AI was awful. The gameplay itself was awful. And it has been superseded so much by its predecessors and its sequel, Alien Isolation. So, is Alien Colonial Marine, better than a pre-loved tea bag. Well, let's see. Alien Colonial Marine. I was one of the poor guys who paid £40 for this the day it came out, and needless to say, I was bitterly disappointed. This tea bag was released today also. I paid 37 pence for this cup of tea from our local cafe. I'm not expecting great things, but it's already better than Alien. Is it better than cheap cat toy? Is Alien Colonial Marine better than a fish supper? I expect this chip to be tasty. And it is. Chip wins. Is Alien Colonial Marine better than Streets of Rage? Not a fucking chance. So, if you have any other random objects you want us to compare this game, this horrible game against, let us know in the comments. <laughs> 